What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Igmatica 2 Expert. Oh, yeah, guys. So we're here in the end at our mystical agriculture farm. I just added in two new mystical agriculture seeds. So we are now growing dirt and water. Both of those are tier one seeds. Nothing too fancy here, but I did want to, like, show you guys what this place is looking like. I don't think we've seen it for a little bit of time. I keep expanding it out. Uh, each one of these rows of the greenhouse glass is 128 blocks tall. So we can come all the way up here. Yeah, so we got a whole bunch of greenhouse glass here. That's what's making those crops grow really fast. And this only goes up to Y132. We could go all the way up to Y256 if we really wanted to and make those crops grow that much faster. But I honestly don't think it's really worth it. But anyway, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on our crops here. Now, I did make the uh, the dirt and the water seeds uh, specifically so we can make clay. Uh, clay was one of the items that we needed as I was putting together stuff in here. I think it was for the ultimate induction providers. Uh, but yeah, we're trying to work on making this creative generator. So I went ahead and I grabbed everything that we have recently crafted. We know it's auto craftable, like these in ultimate induction providers, ultimate induction cells, these RTG fuel. We have UU matter laying around. We already have like nine angel site or angle site, whatever this is in uh, the system. So I just made three more of those. And then yeah, fusion cores, we already had an auto craft. So we had a good portion of pretty much everything ready to go where we've already just made it recently. So I just made this all off camera. Rainbow generator we made like a couple episodes ago. Ultimate catalyst a few episodes ago. Uh, so we are looking at a few things that we still need. So nuclear reactor. This is an item that we do need, but we have not auto crafted this. And I figured we should probably do that together. Uh, so let's do nuclear reactor. So to make one of these guys, we need all of this stuff. And we should have a good portion of a lot of that anyway. Let's look at blank patterns. We are whoop, we are gonna need more of these guys. Let's just, 100? Are we gonna need 100 more? I honestly don't know, but we definitely need more for right now. Uh, so nuclear, gener or nuclear reactor is the next item that we can make. Uh, those require reactor chambers, so that's more dense lead plates and a basic machine casing. You get two of those per craft. That is a lot of lead that we're gonna be going through. And then generator, I don't remember if we have that on auto craft. It looks like we do. Just want to double check. I didn't do the reactors. We have reactor chambers in here, but no patterns for them. Okay. Yeah, I did end up adding or making some more angel sites since we had extra from the, uh, what are those called? The quantum entangled singularities that I made? Anyway. Uh, so yeah, we ended up with like three additional ones of those. So I think with everything here, we should be able to tell the system auto craft. I'm pretty sure. Let's add those in here. Yeah, the pattern for the clay. I made a pattern for osmium. Uh, we're running pretty low on osmium, even though we have the mystical agriculture going. I think we just made those seeds very recently. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much out of that as well. Uh, so let's see if we can do nuclear reactor. How many of those did we need? Uh, it is two, four, six, eight. All right. Uh, we're man. Okay. So we want to make eight of those. I bet we might be out of something. Ah, advanced circuit. You know what? I think those, I think those we can make over here. I'm not entirely sure. I was just looking at this a little bit ago, but I don't remember if those circuits we had over here. It doesn't look like it. Advanced circuit. Yeah, we don't have those. Do we have any of the circuits? I don't think we ever made any. I think we've always done the mechanism version, but these, oh, this can do the mechanism. All right, so let's just change that recipe real quick. Uh, that'll make things easier. Nuclear reactor. All right, we'll put that right here. And then we wanted to change the advanced circuit. Uh, what was the name of the item that is advanced control? All right, so that should craft up uh, pretty quickly. I think we already, I, I ended up pre-crafting up a whole bunch of this stuff earlier for like all the induction providers, the ultimate things that we were making. <laughs> yeah, it took a little bit of time to get that stuff all done. Uh, okay, so I guess that line doesn't come up anymore because this is the only thing called nuclear. This one is just a reactor chamber. If I search for a reactor, I could have found it. Okay, nuclear reactor. And then we wanted eight of those. How are we doing now? 
All right, looks like everything is good to go. So we should be able to craft all these up. No problem. Lots of lead being used. Does it say anywhere? Uh, looks like we're doing over 400 lead. I'm not exactly sure how much it required, but yeah, quite a lot going into all these dense plates and stuff. Oh, yeah, I guess this is what I should have looked at. I didn't look at this. All right, well, we should be pretty much done here momentarily. There it is. Awesome. All right, so there's our nuclear reactors. That actually went a lot faster than I thought it was going to take. So do that, 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 whoops, that, and that one. Cool. All right, so next up, MFSU. So these are the IC2 EU power storage. We made one a while ago to store some power, I believe, or was that for a quest? I can't remember. It doesn't have any power in it. I think I did that originally to store power, and then... Uh, we discovered the mechanism universal cables can convert the RF to EU, so we got rid of it. I, I think it's been a minute. Anyway, so MFSU, that's another thing that we need. We don't have this on auto craft. So this is a charge pad, and this is the item that we need, is the MFSU over here. So that requires us to have MFE, advanced machine casing, and Lapitron crystals. I think we have a lot of this stuff. Advanced control circuit, we need to replace that item again since we don't have the IC2 uh, circuits. That should be done. There we go. So I don't think we have the MFE. Oh, we do have the MFE. Advanced machine. We do. And Lapitron. Man, we got everything. That's fantastic. All right. So let's make uh, three more MFSU. Just three of those anything crazy going on here that i didn't see no 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 it's just a pretty pretty easy recipe it's just gonna take a little bit of time to craft it up all right so while we're waiting on those uh looks like we have the outside stuff that we still need to do so that's high voltage solar arrays now these things i'm not really sure how we're gonna do these guys um high voltage we have these on auto craft right but we needed 12 of them, three, six, and then double that 12. Uh, so if we wanted to craft 12 of those, it does say that we can do it. It knows how to do it, but we are missing osmium. We need 9,000 more osmium essence. We need 65,000 more tiny dry rubber. Oh my goodness, guys, this is a little crazy. And it says that we need 41 more rubber. I think we can craft those up, no problem. In fact, I think those we can do with uh, UU Matter. UU Matter has no value anymore since we can just duplicate UU Matter. Um, as long as we have one bucket, UU, I don't have a bucket. Let's grab a bucket of that just in case. <laughs> bucket. Yeah, as long as we have one bucket, we can put it into our uh, creative tank. That's why I've been keeping buckets of fluids in here. We can put it into our creative tank and then get unlimited of that fluid. Okay, well, yeah, uh, the rubber doesn't really have much value to us since we can um, just get UU matter for free. So if we do that again, we want to do the high voltage, all of this stuff. So we have that rubber. I can turn our replicator off. So we need osmium, and then we are going to need a uh, tiny dry rubber. Now the osmium we can take care of. In fact, I was doing that a little bit earlier. I had this set up here where we had our creative fluid tank ultimate mechanical pipe going into our ingot former and it looks like this thing's full so i'm just gonna break that and put osmium everywhere it's on our magnet and just double click that into the system that might be enough i'm not entirely sure and then this will just continue to make more and more of it yep we're doing pretty good there all right so if i go back in and we do 12 of these do we have enough osmium now i wonder or do i need more Oh no, we're good. It just needs 144 more osmium essence. So 72 more ingots. We already have that crafted in the chest here. That's perfect. Okay, so tiny dry rubber. This is a thing that I'm not really sure how we are going to solve. Like I know how to do it, but to do it easily, I'm not sure how we're going to do this. Uh, so tiny dry rubber, as we've seen, comes from putting in latex is it yeah latex into a latex processing unit which uses water the uh the latex i'm not i'm not really sure how much it uses per tiny dry but then it does that and even with all these upgrades like it doesn't go super fast 
Uh, we currently have, how much is that? 5,869 of those, and we needed like 65. So we need like 71,000 essentially tiny dry rubber. That is so much. Um, so we could probably make a whole lot more latex processing units and maybe use uh, this guy over here, Ritual Inker, to speed that up. I wonder if it would be faster to do it another way, like maybe if we switch it to using this rubber. Can we take accelerate this at all? Yeah, it doesn't really like that power. Hmm. I mean, I guess we could also put overclocker upgrades in here. We don't have to use our time in a bottle or whatever to take accelerate this. I'm not really sure the best way to go about this. I don't know. I'm going to have to take a moment here and kind of look at it and see what we can do and come up with a solution. Well, it seems like the solution probably is just going to be UU Matter in order for us to get this going. So uh, I'm using the replicator. I just went ahead and I scanned an insulated tin cable. It takes 101.3 millibuckets of uh, UU Matter. And you can see we're making it relatively fast. It's not like super fast, but the thing is we need like 7,000 of those. Uh, if we do high voltage and we look at this one more time, we go into here and we scroll down, you can see we're now only needing 46,000 tiny dry rubber. So yeah, it looks like the majority of what all that rubber is going to is the insulated tin. So we are currently needing about 6,000 more of these things. We've made nearly 2,000 of them. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to have to let this thing go for a little while longer. So a thing that I noticed, I was trying to get this thing to take more power. You can see how the power is fluctuating a little bit. I added in another universal, ultimate universal cable onto another side, thinking that it was like, maybe it's limited per side and how much power it can get, but that doesn't seem to be the case. It seems to be the more of these ultimate universal cables that are connected together, the more power they can accept and send at the same time, if that makes sense. So like over here, you can see I kind of wrapped um, this flux point with a whole bunch of these different basic universal cables here. And you see the other sides aren't sending any power, but it's just the fact that we have these universal cables touching, um, or I guess part of the same cable network is what's allowing it to store more power. So, yeah, I don't know. I think that's kind of interesting. So what I kind of want to do, let's grab some universal cable here. I did make some more of these things. Let's add in a whole bunch of these things. They're not going to be connected to anything in particular. They're just going to be all connected together. But I am kind of curious to see like what we can do as far as the uh, power output here. Because the more power we can send into this, the more of the overclocker upgrades we can add, which means the faster we can make this whole thing go. So now that these are all connected, like the internal power you can see is not reaching zero. Uh, it's holding pretty steady, it seems like. Let's take a look over here. We were sending like 2 million before, 2.4 million. Yeah, it seems to be about the same. Uh, so if we come up here, is the power flickering at all? Nope, the power is not flickering. So if I add in another overclocker, it flickers a little bit. If I add in another one, Okay, now it seems to be drawing power, but it's not going all the way down. We are definitely doing something though. <laughs> I'm gonna add in some more of these things. Maybe we can get that to uh, steady up a little bit. I got one more, I'll just throw it over here. It doesn't have to be attached to anything. Like I said, just like part of the, uh, the pipe network. So yeah, you can see it's like holding more power and charging up and sending more power. Um, yeah, why is that not? I think we have a import bus on the back. I'm going to have to put some acceleration cards into that or something. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so we're going to be doing it this way, the insulated tin cable method. Again, if we look at the high voltage and we try and do 12 of them, like what we need, uh, yeah, we need 5,000 more and we're down to 39,000 tiny dry rubber. So anyway, I'm going to pretty much just let this thing go for a while. I'm going to top up the UU matter, make sure we have plenty of that, and we'll be back, guys. All right, guys, so after a little bit of time here, AFK, waiting for our UU Matter to turn into these insulated tin cables, I went and I was going through and pre-crafting up all the different items that go into this crafting recipe. If I would have told the system just to craft everything, it was going to take like 300,000 bytes, which we can't support that much. So I was just kind of like telling you to do all the little sub-crafts up until the point that I needed to make the low voltage, the medium voltage, and the high voltage arrays. 
But uh, we're about halfway done. We've already made six of them, so that's pretty good. Yeah, I just got to go ahead and craft all of these solar panels and just using all these other parts. Man, there was so much pulverized coal that we had to do. There were so many iron plates, like 41,000 of them or something ridiculous like that. But yeah, we are pretty much just waiting on those high voltage uh, solar arrays to be made. There's eight of them now, so we can do one whole side plus part of the other side. Yeah, so we are almost there being able to make this creative generator now. Cool, so the rest of those things finished up. So now we have a creative generator, everything ready to go, and we can craft that. So do we get a quest complete for this guy? We certainly do, so that's cool. All right, so if we go down to the bragging rights section, so we have this one done, and it gives us the quest complete as well for the creative, uh, the creative tank. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so let's claim, oh, I guess we just do this, and that just says that we've done the thing. And then we do this one, and that says that we've done the thing. No reward, it just puts that in the chat, I guess. I'm not entirely sure if it does anything other than just saying that in the chat, but that's all we get for doing it. Uh, so the next quest in this line is to do the creative gas tank. Yeah, I was kind of just looking at this a moment ago. Uh, we are working towards this creative vending upgrade, and the next item is that creative gas tank. Uh, if we look at the creative gas tank, it does require a creative fluid tank in the recipe. Well, I'm not going to give up my creative fluid tank, which means we have to make another one of these. So it requires a creative fluid tank, um, a creative gas tank frame displaying a basic gas tank. What is that? That requires a trophy? Oh, you can craft it. Oh my goodness. What is this? Okay. So to make this thing, we need an ultimate gas tank full of clean draconium slurry, clean iridium slurry, titanium, boron, mithril. Well, I mean, all of these should be pretty easy to do. Uh, we can make the fluids, but we got to, like, turn them into the gas, I guess. Hydrogen chloride, sulfuric acid, ethylene. Yeah, if we can turn these into, like, the fluids, we can use our creative fluid tank to make all of the fluid and then convert it back into a gas form. So I think that should be pretty okay to do, but that's something we're going to have to look at doing here. Uh, first things first, though, I think the creative fluid tank is probably, well, between these two, uh, those are the hardest items to make on this, on this recipe, I think. Uh, so I will add that to the list as well. Uh, let's work on making another creative fluid tank. Now, that did require us to make a whole bunch of these different fluids, which I think we have easy access to, and... We can uh, fill up all these tanks no problem now that we have a creative fluid tank to copy those fluids and put them back in there. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start working on this. We do need a chaotic core. We need four weakened cores, a bunch of demonically gargantuan drums, uh, more ultimate ingots, more resonant cell frames. These are all things that we've done before. I'm going to go ahead and get all this stuff together and we'll be back, guys. Wow, guys, I've been at this for so long now. Uh, yeah, so we needed this creative fluid tank in order to make this creative gas tank, right? Well, not only do we need a creative fluid tank for this one, this recipe over here is going to need a creative fluid tank, so that's two of them. And once I use both of those, I'm still going to want my own creative fluid tank, right? So I made a second one. This is the original one. This is the second one. I am now working on a third one. So this should be all the stuff that we need in order to do that. I was kind of hoping that we'd be able to put all of these items in my inventory and I can just kind of shift click the items uh, into the spot. I haven't had a chance to do that yet. So these are things that I don't need. These are all the things that we do need. Uh, oh, there's still not enough room in my inventory. I thought we were going to have enough room if I got rid of everything in my inventory and I could put these in there, but we are still missing like a few slots. So I wonder, can I put in these things that don't stack? Can I do that and then grab these items? Okay, let's try it. And then, no, it says this button, it says it's missing these items. Even though I have these items, uh, the primal mana, the UU matter, the ethanol, and the tree oil. I have all of those. Uh, tree oil, primal mana, UU matter, and ethanol. So it doesn't know how to do those. It's just going to tell me that they don't exist. And I'm just going to have to put these in here manually, which means the recipe won't shift click in there at all. Uh, is that even the right order? <laughs> Ethanol on top and 
tree oil on the side. I reversed those two. So now we'll try it again. Yeah, it's not going to let me shift click them because it doesn't know about these tanks. Dang it. All right, so I finally got them all in there in the right order. Yeah, this is not shapeless. They all have to be in there in the correct order. So I couldn't just like randomly put these buckets in here. Uh, thing that I noticed, and I noticed this when I made my last creative tank, there are two buckets of essence in here. I didn't notice this the very first time, and it seems weird that they did that, but yeah, it takes two separate buckets of the same fluid when, like, everything else is different. Anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting myself. Uh, so yeah, we now have three creative portable tanks. Do we need three of them? Well, we need two, like I said, for these other recipes. And I do want one for myself for later. So I guess the answer to that question is, yeah, we kind of do need three of them. Uh, all right, so now that we have that done, we can knock that one off the list. So the next thing is this creative gas tank frame. So in order to make that, we need all of this different stuff. Uh, so I guess ultimate gas tank is the first stop we should do. So we have recipes for that. We need nine. So let's go ahead and craft those up. And then we can start working on filling them up with different fluids that we need. So hydrogen chloride, sulfuric acid, ethylene. I think ethylene might be the easiest one for us to do. Let's see if we can fill that one up first. So ethylene, we should already have over here. If I remember right, it should be one of these things has ethylene in it. Yeah, so we have ethylene, the gas, and then we have ethylene, the liquid. Uh, so the, in a rotary condensing treater, you can take a gas and convert it into a liquid. So we can also duplicate this liquid and turn it into a gas. So a rotary condensing treater is another item that we are going to want. And then we're also going to want the uh, speed upgrades for that, the mechanism ones. Uh, that is these. I believe they stacked eight, right? Pretty sure. And the energy upgrade stacks to eight as well. All right, so a rotary condensed and tree tour. And then we want to make sure that we have the arrow pointing from the liquid side to the gas side. And then we can put our ultimate gas tank in here. This is what we're going to fill up. Okay, so now we want to get a creative, one of our creative tanks here. And we want to put, um, yeah, the liquid ethylene. So let's grab a bucket. And grab, how do I do that? Can I just right click on it with the bucket? How do, how do I get the fluid out of there? Why can I not put the bucket here to get a bucket of ethylene? <laughs> is that not a thing that you can do? Or is this the liquid on the other side? Am I completely confused? No, I can't grab either of those and I can't shift click that out of there. This ethylene is coming over here. Is there a way for me to grab that this way? No. Okay, well, I know another way we can do this is a uh, dropper, I believe a gauge dropper from mechanism. We should be able to grab that fluid. There we go. And maybe we could click onto this. Okay, there we go. Now we have liquid ethylene in there. Can I get a bucket? Maybe you just can't get a bucket of this. Maybe that's the problem. Okay, that appears to be the problem. So ultimate, uh, ultimate pressure, pressurized tube. No, we want the mechanical pipe. That's the fluid one. So we do that and then we need the configurator and that should already be set to fluids. So there we go. Now we are putting liquid ethylene in there and we are filling up our ultimate gas tank, but we need the upgrades. So let's grab our uh, speed upgrades and our energy upgrades. All right, let's go ahead and shift right click those on there and those, and then we need a point. So we can have power here. All right, so there we go. Now we are filling up our ethylene. So I don't know how much I can time in a bottle this, if much at all, before like the internal power can't keep up. It looks like we're doing pretty good. So yeah, we're already halfway, well, now we're halfway there to getting a full ultimate gas tank full of ethylene. So that's pretty easy. So we're gonna have to repeat this process again, eight more times for eight different fluids. Uh, should be fairly straightforward, but yep, that's what we need to do. All right, guys, so we are continuing on here. So we're trying to make this guy still. Uh, I've already done the clean titanium slurry, clean iridium slurry, the clean draconium slurry, 
Uh, we have boron and mithril to do, and I kind of want to show you guys these before we finish this up. So the way this is working, uh, we have to fill up a tank full of sulfuric acid. So we have a creative fluid tank with the fluid sulfuric acid, and we are deconcentrating it into gas form, and we're filling up this ultimate gas tank. So every time we run through one of these full ultimate tanks, it has to have pretty much a full ultimate tank of sulfuric acid to go along with it as well. So we can speed this up by uh, clicking that a few times. Actually, I think we can do that more. I don't think I ever tested. Oh, you know what? This has to be clicked a few times too to keep up. There you go. So now it's going faster. Uh, yeah, so anyway, we need this full ultimate tank full of sulfuric acid. And we put it over here. Uh, then we need to get eight stacks of whatever the... Uh, the ore is that we're turning into slurry. In this case, it's going to be boron, so we need eight stacks of this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we need an ultimate, ultimate gas tank to store the slurry because for whatever reason, um, yeah, for whatever reason, the game or I guess mechanism says that the slurry is a gas and not a fluid, which does not make sense to me, but that's the way mechanism is set up. So now we are ready to go. So we have this ultimate gas tank providing our chemical dissolution chamber full of the gaseous sulfuric acid. We put in the ores, it dissolves it into the slurry, and then this will uh, wash it so it turns into the clean slurry. And then we get the clean slurry out over here. Okay, so that's pretty much how this goes. Uh, I'll put in a stack of the boron. I will fill our hopper up. Now we can speed this up. Now the problem is, uh, the fluid through applied energistics is a little slow, but we do have to click each one of these three times With our time in a bottle to really speed it up But yeah, you can see our water is running out and this thing goes into like oh I haven't been doing anything for a while mode So it's like going really slow and it'll eventually speed back up, but yeah I don't know. I wish there was a way that we could set this thing to like not go into like idle mode or whatever it's doing but anyway, you can see right here, we are nearly halfway done with uh, our clean boron slurry already. Yeah, that doesn't take very much time at all, does it? It'd go faster if our water would keep up. Now you can see the water is starting to keep up. Let's click each of these three times again. Okay, so you can see the water is keeping up and things are going fast now and we should be... Oh, you know what? I didn't put all the, uh, the boron in there. Let's do that. So now all of the boron should be going through here, and by the time the time in a bottle is done, our ultimate gas tank should be completely full. All right, so the last gas tank that we need is hydrogen chloride, and this is one that we have to kind of make ourselves. So hydrogen chloride is made from chlorine gas plus hydrogen gas and a chemical infuser. So we get ourselves a chemical infuser. We get a full ultimate tank of hydrogen, uh, one of chlorine, and then an empty one. I don't know if it's like uh, one and one equals one or if it's one and one equals two. Uh, I had to do the same kind of a thing for the DT fuel. We did that a long time ago. Uh, that's with the deuterium and tritium for our fusion reactor. Uh, we had this whole setup already done in the end, so I just had to get some tanks over there. But anyway, we just go ahead and set this to an output. Uh, it looks like that is set up. Yeah, we have hydrogen in here. This one, we need an output here. Cool. So now we have hydrogen, we have chlorine, and we should be making hydrogen chloride. It looks like everything's going great. Let's just go ahead and speed this process up a little bit. Oh man, I think we might be left with, no, I think it's gonna use all of it. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna use it all. And there we go, 512, and we are out. A little bit of hydrogen remaining in here, and we are out of this. It's weird how this, hmm. Oh, you know what happened? I put down the ultimate gas tank for the hydrogen here, and it must have emptied out into the chemical infuser, and I didn't realize it emptied. Now, I noticed that this thing wasn't full, so I went and I filled it up. Yeah, anyway, that's got to be what happened here. So it, did, it does use one and one to make one. Okay, so hydrogen chloride, that is the last item that we needed on our list. So hopefully we can get this thing made. We come over here. There's that, oh, you know what? Uh, sulfuric acid. Uh, I did leave that over here filling up. Didn't I? This one? Yeah, sulfuric acid. Okay, so now we got everything ready to go. Choose this elevator here. Cool. All right, so now if we look at this, 
Uh, there we go. Sulfuric acid. Perfect. All right. I don't know if these are shaped recipes or not. I'm going to try and keep them all in the same order just in case. Grab this one, this one, and this one. So that has to go. That's yeah, just a regular crafting recipe. So if we shift click those in. Okay. And is it shapeless? It is shaped. So they have to be in the right order. If I put the hydrogen chloride here, it doesn't work. All right. So yeah, there it is. Creative gas tank frame. Boom. Oh my goodness. We don't get a reward or anything fancy for that, but that was kind of a crazy thing. Uh, so that is a reward. It says we earned it at this time and this date, but we're actually just going to be using that <laughs> for making this creative gas tank. So it's just going to go away anyway, but we have run out of time for today guys i know we got three creative gas tanks made now we are working on our i'm sorry creative fluid tanks we're working on our creative gas tank we should be able to get that done next time uh and then yeah we could definitely start looking at uh getting the uh creative storage upgrade done that's gonna be good once we get that done any item that we can make in the game we should be able to put one into like a uh, storage drawer and then extract unlimited. So that's going to help us out a lot. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you did like it and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye.